Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're taking a look today at the Amazon Echo Wall Clock. This is exactly what it looks like, a clock that hangs on the wall. There's not much to it, but this connects up with your Amazon Echo devices, both the ones with the screen and the ones without the screen, to give you some visualizations of timers that you set and of course tell the time as well. And what we're going to do in this video is hook it up to my uh, Amazon Echo show here and see what this wall clock is all about. I do want to let you know though in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds. All of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this wall clock is all about. Now the price point on this is about $30. It does not feel like a device that should cost as much as it does, but I think a lot of that cost involves the electronics inside. So it feels like a very cheap wall clock. It does have lights around here that it uses to indicate the timers. There's a notification light here. And then of course you've got Bluetooth on board. Now what this does is it links up with your Echo device over Bluetooth. So the clock has to be in Bluetooth range of the compatible Echo device that you want to link it with you cannot summon your assistant through the clock. So this is strictly a companion device to an existing Amazon assistant. Now, one of the things they caution you on is that you shouldn't touch the hands at all. In fact, the first thing you see in the manual here is don't touch the clock. And it's hard not to because there's no plastic guard on the front of it to prevent you from touching it. So hang it up on the wall and keep it away from the pets and the kids because apparently it breaks very easily and I was seeing that in a lot of the comments on the reviews for the product here. Now the clock is powered by four AA batteries. Amazon estimates you should get a few months of usage out of this, although I would imagine if you're doing a lot of timers and things that are lighting up the lights on it, uh, that might eat into the battery a little bit more than just having it be a timepiece. But just be ready to have yet another thing uh, that you have to replace batteries on every once in a while, and again, it takes four double A's and those double A batteries are included. Now what we're going to do is get this linked up with my Echo Show here on the desk. I'm doing a live stream while I record the video today, so I'll let you kind of watch me work through that process in real time. Uh, so let's get to the pairing and then we'll see how the clock works. All right, so we're going to get everything paired up right now. And I should let you know in full disclosure that we are actually shooting this part of the video two days after what you just saw. And the reason is, is that the clock that we got did not work. The hands were not moving properly. And I think what happened was that when the package arrived, my wife uh, said that she kind of hit it with the minivan, but it was still in the packaging and the clock wasn't damaged as you saw, but it was having some trouble. So we sent it back, we got another one. Uh, so hopefully this will get set up a little bit easier. Uh, so the, what you need to do is you have to have a compatible Echo device, and there's a whole bunch that are on their uh, site that are compatible. It goes back pretty far in the product line, so chances are if you have an Echo, it's going to work with it. And I'm going to just ask it to set things up. Computer, set up my Echo wall clock. Okay, press and hold the pairing button. Okay, so there's a button on the back here. Clock. We're going to hold that down. For up to 10 seconds until the light on the clock's face pulses orange. Pairing may take up to a minute. There we the go. Light will turn blue once paired. Okay, you can also pair or so now it's going through the pairing process. Under the Bluetooth settings of your Echo device. And what should happen here after it begins pairing is that it should set the clock. Your Echo wall clock is paired. Okay, there the we go. The light will pulse blue for a few minutes as your clock is set to the oh, same time as your Echo device. All right, so now the, the hands, hands are moving. The hands will start and stop several times during this process. Once the time is set, try setting a timer or ask, what can Echo wall clock do? All right, so now it's gonna go through this synchronization process. And in some ways, this kind of reminds me of the clocks that I had in my elementary school where they would all set themselves automatically. They were like tied into a central uh, timekeeping device that would occasionally correct all the clocks. And we would sometimes see the clock just kind of running on the wall like this, it's pretty neat. Uh, and that's what kind of attracted me to this is the minimalistic design of it, but it has some, some uh, smart functionality to it to a degree. Um, so what we're going to do is let this thing continue getting itself synced up. I think there might be a firmware update that has to go through. It is not yet on the correct time, so we're going to let this finish up and we'll be back when it's done. All right, so now we've got the clock set up and the time is correct, and now we're going to see what we can do with this thing. Uh, the short answer is that you can't do much with it because it's mostly a clock that has some lights here around the side to help you with timers and alarms. There is no microphone on the clock 
nor is there a speaker on the clock. So when an alarm goes off, the sound is going to come out of your Echo device. And because this has to be within Bluetooth range of an Echo device, there's a good chance the device will be in the same room as your clock. But let's see what we can do with this. So I'm going to start off by putting two timers at work, kind of replicate a kitchen experience here. So why don't we ask our device for a 30 second timer. Computer, give me a 30 second timer for rice. Rice timer, 30 seconds, starting now. And that's a super fast cooker. And then I'm gonna say, computer, give me a 15 second timer for potatoes. Potatoes timer, 15 seconds, starting now. Now you can see what's happening here is that we have our timers here kind of counting down together. And what's neat about this is that you can actually have multiple timers running on the clock at the same time. A little bit earlier, and you'll see the alarm go off here, uh, it'll blink when it's done. A little bit earlier, we had eight timers going at the Your same time. Timer. And I'll show you what that looks like here. It's pretty neat. So you can see all of your timers on the clock. And then when one of the timers gets down to about 60 seconds, it will show that timer going through its last minute. So you have a way of visualizing all the timers you have active and then the one that's about to end. And then as you saw, when it did get to the end, it flashed uh, the fact that it was completed and gave us a bit of a visual uh, cue in addition to the sound coming out of the Echo device. The other thing it will do is light up when you have an alarm set. So if you have uh, you know, an alarm set for eight o'clock or whatever, it will have the sound go off on the echo device and the clock will flash. But again, all of the dismissals of alarms or the uh, conclusion of timers, everything that you need to interact with uh, has to be done through the echo device that it's paired with. This is basically a clock that lights up and is synchronized with the timers that you activated on the paired Echo device. Not much more to it than that. So that is pretty much it for the Echo wall clock from Amazon. It's very basic, but if you're looking for something minimalistic that gives you some timer visualization for the kitchen or another room around the house where you need it, this might be kind of a fun thing to add to your repertoire. That's gonna do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mark Bollinger, Sergio Morales, Mark Dell, Jim Callagher, and Steven Sue. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.